about you, on you Use the groove, use the music, make you move There are what, 7.4 billion people walking on earth right now. And although every single one of us is completely different and unique, there's one thing we all have in common. We all live in community part of some ecosystem where, to be honest, we're either little dots of statistics or we're changing the world somehow. Father, we want to thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's all the fuss about philosophical dots and ecosystems? Okay, let me try and explain. Somewhere in a land far, far away, there lived a group of musicians who thought they would be world changers, you know, earth shakers. Make some kind of dent in the history of their ecosystem. A typical rehearsal starts with um, some exercises. Sometimes we do skills, sometimes we do mental exercises for ear training. So, um, and it's always a fun time. Sing the seventh note. Anyone who wants to ask, I can try it. You said the seventh note. You said the seventh note after this. We have a couple of new people who we are trying to bring up to speed to and everybody else who's been in the team for a while. So Barbara is one of them. She's pretty good for, um, for a new member of the team. She just has a bit to work on with her um, ear training and stuff. So we're going to attend to her. No, it's T. Try to have a T. T. I know. I know. Wait, wait, wait. No. That's T. Yeah, that's T. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See, because you're playing. Oh, okay, wait, let me sing it higher. Yeah. And the seventh note is T. T. So, yeah, so. With these um, um, exercises before we start rehearsals, like the mental exercises, like the ear training, we have a couple of rules. And if you break the rules, you're supposed to do the press ups. Yeah, so <laughs> something that the ladies don't like at all. Yeah, but it's so, it's so um, beneficial for our health anyway. So you get it wrong, you gotta push up. Yeah. <laughs>
love you. I love you. Press up. Yes. Oh. Press up. Press up. Press up. Press up. Right. So let's back up a little bit. Last week, we had Calvis and the JP Music team minister at Joyful Way's Explo concert. And that was in the lounge, out of the lounge. It was so powerful. song to interrupt let me take you into the world of ITL and show you who's who all the relationships and how everyone's connected the whole thing is an opportunity where Christians can share um, their experiences their life and also share music the idea is through all this to to have Christ glorified and then um, using the vehicle of music and expressing it in, in the context of Africa and what God has blessed us to have as African people, as Ghanaians, you know, learning of course from other cultures but staying true to who we are and sharing our lives and experiences and hopefully to be able to benefit other people. Yeah, that's what In The Lounge is hoping to do. I'm really excited about this In The Lounge. The concept is, is, is it's, it's so big to grasp myself, like I know what it's supposed to be, but I, I'm still asking God to fill in the details. With how do we get that actually? How do you get a music tutorial show that shows people's lives to be entertaining? That gets people who are not Christian, not musicians, to actually want to watch. How do you get that drama, that suspense, and still get people to watch and still leave watching it, getting their lives? somewhere closer to God, like, you know, how does that really happen? How, that glue, that makes that thing work is still something that intrigues me. I'm still, it's exciting because I don't know it all, but I'm happy to go on that journey to find out, like, because it's, it's something I know it's, it's, it's God best. And once it's given by God, God is going to show the way. So I'm like, wow, what's next? What's next? Kind of, so that's, that's how I'm on this journey here. Yeah. Carlos and I have been friends since like way back in, um, fans from secondary school. 
he was in the next house to mine at boarding school. Yeah. And then we were all in the same school band and from there took him to Joyful Way on campus and it's been like an amazing friendship. I really love him, he's one of my best friends. And um, we go way back and it's amazing to be able to still do ministry and music with somebody you've known for maybe, I don't know, over 15 years. Yeah. When I went to university, I mean, that is where I, 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 I realized that, look, I had something special and God had called me into the music ministry. I joined Joyful Way when I went to the university. Once again, Jebby took me there. Jebby took me to two rehearsals in one day, to Joyful Way and to God's Instruments. Uh, that's the choir for the Baptist Students Union. And that's, that's how I started. Jervis is my kid brother. Well, my smallest brother. I'm the first of four. Yeah, he's the last of four, but he's not a small boy. Yeah, he's amazing. Everybody who meets Jervis straight on, you know you've encountered um, someone unique, very intelligent, very disciplined, anointed, and extremely talented as well, you know. So yeah, sometimes I wonder why I'm the firstborn. Yeah, because I have amazing siblings. Jervis, Jesse, Lucy, they're all incredible in their own rights, but I guess um, it was not my choice <laughs> to be the firstborn. And as the firstborn of such incredible human beings, there's a huge responsibility to be able to provide leadership even at home, which is sometimes um, interesting because everybody has such depth, yeah? So Jervis is incredible, yeah. I'm the last of four children. My dad is a musician and he plays almost every instrument. And from the time we were very young, he started as in you know, the line of music. He would, I remember he taught me the guitar when I was very, very young. As soon as he could see my fingers had some motion, you know, he would put your fingers on the guitar. He would teach you, he would, I mean, my dad did very well. He taught all of us everything we play now. Of course, we've built upon it over time, but it's my dad that actually started us on that journey. And before we were actually born, he's always said it, was, it has been his dream. He wanted to have all his children playing with him in ministry. So sometimes he said that as he'll be on stage ministering, he'll be imagining having his children behind him playing with him. As a family, you know, my big brother was very serious in music. So he would always push us to learn new songs, bring jazz CDs home, talk about amazing things happening in school. And we're always, you know, striving for more musically. All right. Let's bless our African continent with the blessings of Jesus Christ. because she was in worshipers and um, Jervis spoke well of her um, I, I met Ajo as well through um, Nanado. It's been a long journey. I still am trying to figure out who Ajo is. Someone who loves God, someone who believes that she's been saved by grace, in grace alone. Someone who 
having flaws, and yet has to believe that God's plan is bigger than who she is and what she sees. When I look into your eyes, I see the light. She's one person who pursues God, and she really wants to become like Christ. I mean, and she's an inspiration. She's a very good singer too, by our standards. I also met him through Jervis. Jervis, he's one of the people Jervis taught guitar in university and now he plays as if he's like, he's been playing since he was born. You can't go wrong with Leonardo. Super talented, very focused. I like his mind, he thinks out of the box. Somebody watch out for Leonardo, he's, he's going places here. I love the sound when I play, it's just amazing. He's so talented, super talented. <laughs> Yeah, very interesting young man. One of the one of the youngest members of the team, but not to be underestimated. Um, very very mischievous and very very um, yeah. But he's 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 very amazing, very talented, committed to hard work. To be honest, he's had it a bit tough because he's arguably um, when we started the 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 least musical. But he's really worked hard, and he's now. I'm surprised we hear people calling him for gigs and sessions. I'm like, whoa, when did that happen? Yeah, but he's 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 proven that with dedication and hard work, um, everything is possible. So he's uh, yeah, one of the guys who I have close to my heart. Um, he and Nana, and it's my responsibility to make sure that musically, academically, spiritually, they don't miss the mark. And, and it's something that I always pray for guidance to be able to help them get to their very best. My name is Bafu NG, a student at the Ghana Technology University College, and a member of JP, a guitarist. And I joined JP through Nanao. And he, he, he joined JP formally, and then one of those days, I, I just asked that I go with him for rehearsal. And then when I got there, they had already asked someone to come and play guitar but then it seems the person wasn't really coming around because he wasn't having time and all of that so then jesse jokoto decided that okay let me give him a try i've known him from impact so then let me give him a try and then that was it i wasn't really too good but then over time i got to learn <laughs> sometimes during rehearsal they realized that i was sort of bringing them back because they expected me to like get their songs well and things. I don't I, I've not really noticed that but then I think sometimes the pressure Jamie and Jesse give me <laughs> it doesn't give me the opportunity to smile so um, I don't I'm not someone who really frowns like sometimes the pressure you can laugh 
if you laugh, you might end up making a mistake. Um, so, I'm not someone who frowns. I smile a lot when I'm outside the lounge, I guess. But with the rehearsal pressure, I can't smile <laughs> because I have so much to remember. <laughs> Watch Barfour conquer his fears as he ministers triumphantly on the guitar in Niela's song, Give It All.
ITL. Oh Lord, there's no one like you. Oh yeah, Lord, there's no one like you. My God, there's no one like you. It's all for you, it's all about you. 